So in this uh, video, I'm going to explain slider crank mechanism. Just uh, enter the name slider underscore crank under crank mechanism. Crank underscore mechanism. Okay, space are not allowed, so I'm giving the underscore. Apply and click OK. The name is displayed here. Now, first we want to draw the slider. Okay, now you can see that keep the rigid body plate. Uh, body you can take thickness and radius is by default is there you can use and uh, draw the uh, yeah, approximate that uh, dimensions you can take and you can close the, all the four sides and automatically it will be created okay that plate is created it's acting as a slider now draw the rigid bodies okay width and the depth you can keep constant four centimeters two centimeters and length is as per your requirement you can vary okay now just uh, i am putting the this is the crank so the value is not fixed so that uh, the connecting rod also can join these two slider and this link and this so now we can assign the connections go for the uh, revolute joint okay then uh, the part three and ground select the ground just move the cursor where ground is highlighted then you can select this so that link is assigned and part three and part four and the center you can assign the another uh, revolute joint now again you can select uh, the part 4 revolute joint part, part 4 and slider you can select and center you can assign that revolute so here three revolute joints are assigned for slider crank mechanism three revolute joints and one sliding pair now you can assign the sliding pair now you can see that slider with ground the horizontal direction it will move you can also the slider joint is also assigned then give the motion motion to the input to joint that revolute joint i am selecting that motion is given 30 okay then you can see that we can assign that revolute joint that motion then verify the simulation go to the simulation mode tap click and simulation just adjust keep the forever mode and the step size 0 0.1 and tick verify the model close and see that the simulation okay. now you can see that crank is rotating and slider is oscillating our slider is having the to and fro motion okay so now we can verify through the graphs again you can keep the three windows and the right side window load the animation click the right click and load animation left top you can analyze what is the velocity acceleration of the slider go for the body and here the part two is a slider the velocity magnitude and add curve Similarly, for the left bottom, uh, you can select acceleration, magnitude, add curve. Now we can switch on this animation. Okay, now you can see that you can observe the slider, how the crank is rotating, slider is moving to and from. Okay, so you can likewise you can analyze the uh, for crank also you can analyze for connecting rod also you can analyze so different motions how it will happening that you can analyze. I hope everyone can understand how we're going to create slider crank mechanism using the Adam software.